Ah, Steam Next Fest is here, and demos are being laid out before us in grand fashion, including something that I'm looking forward to, just because I like my little murder mysteries and my little sleuths and my Herculeporos. Murder on the Orient Express. Demo link is in the description if you'd like to check it out yourself. Guess we're gonna try and you know find out a murder, at least you know, the first bit of it. Sit back, relax. Oh jeez. The train is still stuck and the snow continues to fall. I should have taken an airplane. Well, I must make the best of it and join the other passengers for breakfast. Sounds like a plan. Get to the dining car. Mind map. So, we got a tab, hit mine, get to the dining car. Sure thing. I might as well go to the dining car. Okay. Very, very nifty. I mean, I think the dining car is that way. Second class? Absolutely not. What am I, poor? Bonjour. Good morning, Monsieur Michel. Good morning, sir. Please enjoy our special breakfast in our restaurant. I will. Oh, it's a water closet. Spiffy. Into the bar we go. Look at these characters. I am supposed to be demonstrating the Firenze in Paris in two days. Oh, uh, your electric car. Yes, that's bad luck. Oh, shoot. Luck? Not your electric car. So, oh, no. said it would be the easiest way in the world. Just sit on the train until I got to Paris. And mm -hmm. now we may be here for days and my boat sails the day after tomorrow. Oh. How am I going to catch it now? Oh. I can't even send an email to cancel it. Oh, 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 oh. Good morning, madam. The snow is a predicament, is it not? I it am is. Russian. Snow is no stranger to me. Just slap her. No, ah, just playing. Accent. Would it be St. Petersburg? You are very perceptive. Monsieur Poirot, is it not? And may I take it I have the honor of addressing Princess Natalia Dragomirov. We dispense with the old titles these days. My husband, all of my past was taken from me by these Stalinists. When they were gone, I became director of the St. Petersburg Museum of Antiquities to restore and preserve what I can of my country's history. Still, the delay must be vexing. If I must be late for my appointments, then they will wait. I know that I would certainly wait, madame. It has been my extreme pleasure to make your acquaintance, madame. Au revoir, Monsieur Poirot. Right. Give up a lot of information that we didn't really ask for. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. I'm just saying. Can we play a little tune? Piano. What a luxury. Pity there's no one to play it. I could play your piano, ma'am. Mademoiselle, you are not concerned about the train stopping? What can one do? Indeed, this does not make the train move. You have great strength to remain calm at a time like this. I know one far, far stronger than I. And that is? Well, that old lady, for instance. You have probably noticed her. I just, just got done talking to her. She just little finger and ask for something in a polite voice, and the whole train runs. It runs also for my friend Monsieur Book, but that Book. is because he is a director of the line, not because he has a masterful character. You don't have to have a strong will when you have power. But I suspect I did not need to tell you that, Mr... Poirot. Mr. Poirot. So modern day... Poro murder mystery. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Fauché. You have early customers, I see. Yes. I am stuck serving here as well at breakfast. Everyone is impatient. They keep complaining that the train is not moving. As if I could get out and push it. It's too early for me to order a boxcar. That is the appropriate drink, I believe. A gin, triple sec, lemon and grenadine mix. 
A drink for a train indeed. But it's a drink for any time. For my breakfast. I think I will settle for an omelette. Good luck, sir. Miss Nielsen is helping to serve in the dining car. Okay. So we got access. So I've got a restaurant. Water closet. Oh, the restaurant. Ha 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 ha. Hence the How bad long guys. We expected to be stranded here. It won't do much good complaining to me. That fellow there with the mustache, he may know something. No ticket. Excusez-moi, sir. Yes? Monsieur Book asks for you to join him in compartment 20. I have not had my omelet yet. Or my drink. Uh, look here, Waro. Can you tell us anything? I can tell you the snow, it will not move aside on its own. Of course, but you obviously have some influence with Book. I am going to see him now. I will ask him if he has any information. Weird how everyone, everyone's talking to me, me and only me. Go to the okay. So track completed. Go to the dining car. I take it you are possibly Monsieur Book. Ah, my good friend, come in. We have need of you. What has occurred? A passenger lies dead in his bed. Stabbed. <gasps> the passenger? Which passenger? In there. He's an American. A man called Hatchet. It oh, was well, then just valet, throw him off the train and be done with it. worried that Mr. Hatchet was not awake yet. Pierre Michel, the conductor, decided to break in and found the body. I see. Well, my friend, I think it is best not to touch anything and wait for the police to arrive. Oh, I tried to call the police, but there is no cell tower for many kilometers. We could be stuck in the snow for hours. The murderer that body's going to smear air. the train, now. The sooner we catch him, the sooner we'll be out of danger. The Dr. Constantine is already examining the body. Mon ami, this is not a missing train ticket. We must follow procedure. We Shut must up, wait for the police yeah. to secure Shut the up, sir. crime scene. Please, Poirot. I will take full responsibility. Book, you ask. Well, if we cannot contact the outside world, then... Oh... You are going to drive me crazy. I'm In on truth, vacation. This problem intrigues me. I was reflecting not half an hour ago that many hours of boredom lay ahead whilst we are stuck here. And now a problem lies ready to my hand. You accept then? C'est entendu. You place the matter in my hands. Yeah, like, what are you going to do? Sit there and do nothing? Oh my god, this dude's so ratchet. Mr. Poirot, I am Dr. Constantine. I. Forgive me, doctor. You are a medical examiner? No, but I have assisted in post-mortems at Nairobi Hospital, where I am a teaching fellow. I am familiar with your excellent institution. I do not intend to perform a full autopsy, but a preliminary examination should be of some use. Of course. May I have a look? Then we can compare notes. Please. If you need any help, I won't be far away. Good. It's good to know. Okay, so he's Moroccan, 25, nurse. And his character, learn more about him. Is it a nurse? Doctor, medical examiner, doctor. Medical examiner. Uh, he's definitely not 25. 47 is correct. No, 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 no. Not good. This is wrong. But I'm never far from the... Aha, Kenyon, 47, is a doctor. My little gray cells did not let me down. <laughs> We're so smart. Request Dr. Constantine's alibi. Link with the victim. Clues in the room. Confine. What can you tell me about the victim? He died from multiple stab wounds of varying angles and depth. More than one would have been fatal. I would place the time of death roughly between midnight and 2 a.m. With more time, I hope I can be more precise. Very good, very good. Uh, why is it so cold in here? I assume the open window complicates matters. Indeed. Conditions are not perfect. Right, any clues in the room there, big guy? Did you touch anything in here this morning? I checked for a pulse. There was none. Rigor mortis had commenced. The body was cool to the touch. I touched nothing else. Probably because the window was open, dummy. 
I'm sorry, Doctor, but I must question you. Of course. I must be considered under suspicion like everyone else. Of course May you are. I know your movements last night. I share compartment 101 with Mr. Boop. He would not stop talking about his beloved train. I listened to him for hours talking about his Orient Express. My right. friend Book will no doubt confirm this. Did you know the victim? Not at all. I noticed him last night at dinner, but I did not pay much attention. Very good. Very good Thank indeed. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Alright, look at the bloodstains. Okay. As you see, the victim has been stabbed many times. Yes, Several I have. alone would have been fatal. I see that. Yes, I agree. An attack most savage. Savage. Interesting. I will, of course, prepare a complete report on my findings. You do Thank that. You. I'll take photos. So hot. All right. The watch is broken. The hands are stopped at 1.15 a.m. M. One fifteen AM time when the attack occurred. Unless his watch was already broken before someone broke it. Oh. Just saying. Just saying. Oh. We got ourselves a gun. And a smashed up iPhone. Been there, his brother. Phone was deliberately smashed. Got ourselves a gat. Last night, Monsieur Ratchet said he takes precautions. I see now what he meant. He knew he was in danger and wanted to be ready. Yet it was no use to him. I will leave it here for the police. Yeah, you, you should you should get your hands off of that. You filthy, filthy, filthy. I'm sure I will find some interesting things inside. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. Exotic vap. Banana. Did it belong to Ratchet? You bet it did. What that does. Exotic vap. Sounds horny. Got bananas in there. Mm-mm. Is this a I'm sad tissue or a happy tissue? A handkerchief. There's a letter H embroidered on it. H, you say. Interesting. Anything else? Where can the killer have gone? Aha. Uh -huh. hmm. The snow is falling only lightly this morning. The murderer would have left tracks in the snow if he had jumped out the window. But he did not. Hmm. Gotta have a code. Okay. Let's check his luggage. Samsonite. I believe the code is one, two, three, four, five. Alice was walking in the front of the flowers. Exactly the she picked ten flowers to make a bouquet. Would expect of a man like Ratchet. The poorly written, poorly written poem, eh? No, 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 no. There's still stuff in there. Expensive clothing, recently laundered. What else? Oh. I wonder what could be in this photo. Gotta break it apart. Restore the torn picture. Oh, cool. Different kinds of mysteries. I like it. It's locks in the place. Nice.
Oh my goodness. Do I have a heart on my chest? A brain in my head? Who is this beautiful specimen? Oh, Daisy. Oh, mm -hmm. Daisy. Interesting. Hey, voila. Voila. We're so good at this game so far. No, I'm just playing. Open ratchet safe. Take things threatening letters. Is agenda and money? Cool. Crime scene, scene of the crime. 10 out of 17 things were inspected. Okay, so we have seven more things to inspect. We're Inspector Poirot. That's what we do is inspect. Sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. Very good, very good, sir. This door communicates with compartment 204. The latch is open on this side. Okay. So that looks like we have to go over to 204 and be like, yo, your friend's dead. Nice little shower. The chain lock is broken. Oh, he broke in that way. That he broke the chain on the door to get into the room. Ah, true. So it was locked on the inside. I shouldn't leave until I have finished inspecting the crime scene. All right. So we got to try and figure out what's going on with this safe and where we can get the code. Uh, so we didn't like look the wabbit, a wasque wabbit. Alice is walking in a forest of 1,000 flowers. 1,000. Uh oh. So she picked 10 flowers to make a bouquet. All right. So 1,000. 10. Suddenly, the bouquet turned into a butterfly, and the flowers on the ground began to multiply. There are twice as many. Times two. Alice arrived in front of the door that asked her, if you want to get out of the forest, you must tell me how many flowers are left in the forest. So Alice was sitting walking in the forest of a thousand flowers. She picked 10 flowers to make a bouquet. Suddenly the bouquet turned into a butterfly and the flowers on the ground began to multiply. There are twice as many. So there's 2,000 flowers. Uh... Aha! So, double. Everything was doubled. So you had 1,000, and then it doubled. She was 1,000, and then uh, she was going to take 10, and then it doubled. So there was twice as many flowers. So it was 2,020. Subtract 2,000, or 20 from 2,000, 1980. That's math. It's math. Stack, son. Very surprising. For each person hurt, you will suffer the same harm. Your death is near. You never mm, forget. Unusual letter, this. <clears throat> Daily planner diary. Call Cairo. Call Cairo. Check carpets delivery. Cairo. Call DC. Who's DC? Check money's TVs. I'm writing all this down. We must. Debrief with H. Oh, who's H? Arriving to Venice. Confirm flight. RJ. Ratchet had an appointment he will never keep. It's a bummer, man. Fat Bunny. Fat Bunny. Uh, Fontana de Rogiri. Ah, a meeting place on the back of a postcard. Someone with the initials A W. And then A W. There's a lot of clues going on here. A lot of, a lot of shenanigans happening in here. A lot, of, a lot of things happening. All right. Recap events. You cannot start a workshop. Okay, I'm, it's, it's fine. We're all fine here. Can I get out of here now? I shouldn't leave until I have finished inspecting the crime. Are you serious? Are you serious, Clark? All right, recap events. All right, Ratchet had a gun under the pillow. Ratchet's watch was found stuck at 115. Got sleeping pills, a box of sleeping pills were found in the room. Letter threatening Ratchet. This is wrong. 
It but is not wrong. I'm never far from the truth. There we go. Ratchet was on his guard. Duh. Like two elements. Okay, so we have sleeping pills and water. We can mix those together. Which is bad. It's bad. Always bad. I just drank sleeping pills the night of the murder. I must admit I'm not right this time. Ah, uh, we will be right. Think, Poirot. That is not a good answer. It is a good one. Uh, ha ha ha. There we go. Guns, pills, you know the deal. Conclude. I can't imagine Ratchet taking a sleeping pill if he feared for his life. Maybe, maybe he was just really, 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 easy. really nervous. Was it? All right. Ratchet and the sleeping pills. Ratchet employees. We got book. Two people can be identified. I must admit I'm not right this time. This is wrong, but I'm never far from the truth. Aha! They are the employees. Voila! Mon ami. All right, interrogate Ratchet's secretary, interrogate Ratchet's valet. Well, let's go do this then. I shouldn't leave until I have finished inspecting the crime. Well, what the hell? Okay, so now we gotta go all the way over here. The murderer's way out. Alright, so the connecting door. One. Crushing it. I like this part of the... It's, it's kind of... I understand there needs to be some sort of linear something or other. I don't know. It's like, hey, you can't leave this room without figuring out. I'm like, what do I got to click on? Oh, it's the, this, this, this whole space. So it's kind of odd. Okay. We got this and that. Very good. Combining it all. Conclude. So the murderer must have exited through Madame Hubbard's room. Hubbard's room. That's the right answer. Yes. Ha ha ha. The witnessed. Witness of escape. Okay. This is Hubbard. And possibly this guy. This is wrong. But I'm never far from the truth. Aha. Uh -huh. That's the right answer. Is it? We're so smart. Interrogate. Connecting door. Can I please leave now? I think I've seen Thank everything God. I need at the moment. I am counting on you to finish your analysis. I'll have a more detailed report for you as soon as I can. Very good. Get me out of this, this awful car of death. So, Poirot. Did you find anything out? It's a bit early for the handcuffs, my friend. Even for Hercule Poirot. Do not worry, mon ami. I believe our culprit has no plans to strike again. Monsieur Ratchet was the target. Of that, I am convinced. Well, yeah, he's dead. Tell me, Book, how did you spend last night? This is a joke, I hope. Don't you trust your old friend? My friend, calm yourself. I must Calm your tits. Your Calm your tits. In order to corroborate other accounts. Ah, naturally. Let me see. Hmm. I went to my compartment after dinner. Uh, Dr. Constantine was already there. We talked about his career. He's a Cambridge man, you know. After university, he returned to his country and has done much good there. He was so interested in the Orient Express. I told him all the anecdotes I know. I'm not certain when we fell asleep, but it was very late. Did he say he went to a different university than Cambridge? Here is what I have found out. Monsieur Ratchet was stabbed many times. I also found threatening letters in his safe. He had a loaded gun under his pillow, so he was on guard ready to defend himself. However, there was an empty glass with white residue at the bottom. I suspect a barbiturate. Perhaps he was forced to take it. 
In any case, I am certain he was unconscious, unable to defend himself. I also found several other items at the crime scene, possibly very, related very, to the murder. Very possibly. They must be Many much more. By Many much more possibly. Bubble. As fast as you can. I also found liquid for an electronic cigarette, but I could not find a vape. Ah. This might belong to the murderer. This criminal vape niche. Amateur. I need a list of the passengers with their compartment numbers. Pierre Michel will have it. I must interview the rest of the passengers and the staff. I'll be in the bar car if you need me. We are hours late. Soon I hope help will arrive. Yes, we are. List of passengers. Tab. Interrogate Mrs. Hubbard. Need to do all these things. I have no idea how the length of this demo, but it's pretty extensive. Seems like, anyway. The train still hasn't left. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, yo, Hubbard. Yo, Mother Hubbard. Good morning, madam. I am Hercule Poirot. Caroline Hubbard. What can I do for you, Mr. Poirot? I am the bearer of unfortunate news. It's obvious with all the commotion that something has happened. Madame Hubbard, I'm afraid your neighbor, Monsieur Ratchet, was murdered last night. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my gosh! I knew, <gasps> I knew it! I would like to ask you some questions, but first, may I inspect your room? Of course, yes, you must. Oh, uh, uh, can you lead the way to your panty drawer? No, I'm just playing. Definite evidence in there. Uh, she is not. She's uh, she's definitely not 18. Definitely looks 60. Profession controller. I do not think that's the right answer. Think, Poirot. That is not a good answer. There we go. Housewife. My little gray cells did not let me down. Well, I mean, I, I have, it's multiple choice. You keep on telling me it's wrong. I'm just gonna select the correct choice. This door connects to Monsieur Ratchet's compartment. It's I latched know. on this side. The luxury of the Orient Express is present in every detail. We got here. Huh? Nothing? Okay. So far so good, ma'am. It's quite the nice knob you Here's have. a jacket button. It bears the logo of the Orient Express. See here. A golden mustache. Come to Poirot, my exquisitely sculpted friend. Nice. So we're looking for golden mustaches? I must ask you a question, ma'am. <laughs> Madame, please tell me about last night. The murderer was right here in my compartment. I woke up. All in the dark it was. I was just so scared I couldn't scream. I pressed the call button. I pressed and pressed. I heard footsteps running in the corridor, then a knock on my door. Come in, I screamed. And I switched on the lights at the same time. And would you believe it? There wasn't a soul there. You must have been a ghost. He went back into the other compartment. How do I know where he went? I had my eyes shut tight. The conductor came in. I told the man what had happened, and he didn't seem to believe me. I don't I asked believe him you. to search the room. But he found nothing. I told the conductor to look at the door between the compartments. And sure enough, it wasn't bolted. Well, I soon saw to that. I well, told way to, to go now. Then and there. How is it you didn't bolt the door between the two compartments? But I had. Well, as a matter of fact, I asked that Swedish lady. Swedish um, lady? Olsen, uh, Greta, if it was bolted, and she said it was. How, How was dare it? she? You could not see for yourself. I was already in bed, and my toiletry bag was hanging on the hook of the door. I couldn't see the latch from where I was. What Quite time convenient, was it when you asked her to do this for you? Oh, it must have been around 10.30 or 10.45 p.m. She'd come okay. along to see if I had an aspirin. But instead of opening my door, she opened Mr. Ratchet's door by mistake. He said something quite rude, like, Not a chance, lady, you're too old. <laughs> it shocked her. She came in. I told her where to find the aspirin, and she got it out of my toiletry bag. <sighs> Poor girl, she didn't have a good night. The same could be said for Monsieur Ratchet. Mm -hmm. It appears Mademoiselle Olsen may be the last person to see Ratchet alive. That was a 1045, huh? 
What were you banging him, ma'am? Is this your handkerchief? No, not at all. Yet it is embroidered with an initial H, like your name. I don't care. It's not mine. And I would certainly never buy something so impractical as that frilly thing. So, well. Are you a smoker? No, definitely not. Filthy habit. I found a jacket button on your table. It looks like it belongs to... A train employee. The button bears the logo of the Orient Express. Well, of course, the conductor came in last night, but he didn't go near that table. Still, it's a safe bet that it belongs to the conductor. I'll check his Could jacket be. later. Oh, yes, we Please. shall. As long as... I have not finished inspecting... The demo allows me. If you don't mind. Uh, I think we got it all. Oh, wait. Let's see if Mrs. Rebard was telling the truth about the latch of the connecting door. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Pick up the toiletry bag. Whoops. This hook is probably where Mrs. Robard hung her toiletry bag. Pop it on there. That is quite it's visible. Latch very well from here. Even with the toiletry bag. She's a fibber. Attached. I'll have to clear that up with Mrs. Robard. Hey, yo, Hooker. What's up? What's up with all the lies? Mrs. Robard, you told me that the door connecting the two compartments was closed, correct? Yes, it was, as I told you. I was already in bed and my toiletry bag was hanging on the hook of the door. I couldn't see the latch from where I was. That's why I asked Miss Olsen to check if it was closed. Which of these sentences contain a lie? Yes, it was, as I told you, I was already in bed. And my toiletry bag was hanging on the hook of the door, right? I couldn't see the latch from where I was. Are That's you sure everything you've told me is accurate, Madame Hubbard? Of course. I have an excellent memory. Latch is visible. Hubbard, I tested putting your toiletry bag on the door hook as you told me. From your bed, you can easily see the latch on the door. The toiletry bag does not hide the latch. You all. little liar. Are you saying I'm lying? Yes. It may have been stuck somehow in a different position. Or Lies. I may not have seen it in the door. Lies. Document. Lies. Or I didn't think to look, you irritating man. Details matter, madame. A man has been most savagely murdered. You will excuse me if I attempt to separate the truth from the false. Forget my toiletry bag and focus on who entered my compartment. Just, Probably just after killing Mr. give her a backhand. Madame Yvonne She's, is a Calm down, ma'am. Calm down. But I suspect I'm not done with her. Thank you for your assistance, madame. Fish. Monsieur Michel, I must ask you a few questions if you don't mind. I will do everything I can to help. First of all, tell me about yourself. Very I mean, well. don't don't make name, it as you know, too much Michel. though. I am from Calais. I have been with the company for over 15 years. Thank oh, you. company man. There we are. French 57, the controller. Like again. That happens to me a lot. I mean, it's just a matter of time. You just got to keep on guessing. Uh. Can you provide me with a listing of the passengers and their rooms, please? Yes, certainly. Ah, very good. Got Toby, Toby Harris. Okay. Hector McQueen, Edward Masterman, Greta Olson. There she is, Joanna Locke. Hildegard Schmidt, a lot of H's. Gotta look about AW too. Hmm. I don't see an AW anywhere. Pretty good. Are you a smoker? Indeed. Do you smoke e-cigarettes? No. 
Tobacco only. Oh, no, no thanks, I'm straight. I would like to reconstruct with your help the events of last night. Monsieur Ratchet retired to bed. When? Almost immediately after dinner, sir. Actually, before we left Belgrade. Did anybody go into his compartment after that? His valet, monsieur. Monsieur Masterman. Mr. And Masterman. Secretary, the young American gentleman. Monsieur McQueen. And that is the last time you saw or heard of him? No, monsieur. You forget that Monsieur Ratchet rang his bell around 12.40 a.m. 12.40. Soon after we had stopped. I knocked at the door, but he called out in French. Ce n'est rien, je me suis trompé. I then left to answer another bell that had just rung. Where were you at 1.15 a.m.? Yeah. I was sitting on my little seat at the end of the car, facing up the corridor. Are you sure? I left a little after 1 a.m. to speak about the snow with my colleague Jean in the bar car. I came back later. There was a call. I remember speaking to you. Indeed, I remember. Carry on. It was the American lady, Madame Hubbard. She thought she saw a man in her compartment. Then around 1.50 a.m., I made the bed for Monsieur Ratchet's secretary, Monsieur McQueen. He had spent the evening talking with the English Captain Arbuthnot mm. at 2 a.m., I returned to my place and stayed there until dawn. Interesting. What is the last station where we stopped? Vinkovsky. Could someone have come on board? <sighs> Possibly. I was very busy. Owning to the weather, we were a few minutes late. We left at 12.10 a.m. Okay. I found a button from an Orient Express staff jacket. Did you lose one by any chance? No, monsieur. As you can see, Ooh. I have all my buttons. Yes, you do. It's not mine. You're all buttoned up, sir. All buttoned up. All right, Mr. Michelle's activity, mind map. Okay. No. Got that. Man, we are so good. My little gray cells did not let me down. That was actually the first try. Ah, it feels like I paid attention. The killer avoided Mr. Michel. Mr. Monsieur Michel. Uh because train stopped, probably because of the snow. Mr. Michel was not at his post between yeah. One. Combined. Or was able to take advantage of Mr. Michelle's absence and escape without being seen at 115. Conclude. While Monsieur Michel was chatting with Monsieur Fauché in the bar car between 1 a.m. and 2 a.m., the murderer could have escaped Ratchet's room without being seen. I know. That's the right answer. Uh-huh. Now what do we got? Is Mr. Michelle a suspect? No. Very well, I choose to go this way. Interesting. So I can decide whether or not is Mrs. Hubbard a suspect? Yes. Yes, she is. This is the most likely answer. How could the killer exit the room? The killer couldn't climb through the window. He would have left footprints in the snow and he would have exited through the hall door without leaving the chain unlatched. The only way possible to exit the room was through the connect the connecting door to Madame Hubert's room, number 203. She thought someone was in a room. She was right. She was so, so right. Okay. Why, hello there. Monsieur Edward Masterman, I believe. May I ask you some questions? Mm, I can barely talk. I have a terrible toothache. Oh. We have a doctor on board the train. Perhaps I do not need a doctor. I use essential oils. Oh, well, that's the reason why. I my flask of clove oil in my box. I would be grateful. Fine. 
If you insist, I will help you. Just get it yourself. I'm a, com I'm a com complete stranger here, bud. By the smell, I yeah. think Almond, that the jojoba lang -lang, oil lemon, spilled lavender, the clue. other bottles, leaving their labels illegible. I must find another way to find which one is Masterman's toothache remedy. Really? Seven milliliters. Okay. The weighing scale is soaked in jojoba oil. It's unusable. Ah, this old scale will do the job. Oh, God. Why do I have to do simple math? To start, I must first arrange the vials from the lightest to the heaviest. All right, so I'm going to assume that... Okay, lemon is yellow. Lavender. I mean... Okay, so this is heavier than that. Okay. That's the heaviest. Okay. Red is heavier. Now that I know the order, I think that I can easily guess which one is the clove oil. Right, but there's, there's, okay, so there's almond in there. All right. So, clove is the second. Mm, I don't think this is the remedy. Okay, so we have clove at seven milliliters, lang lang, two milliliters, almond five meter. Here is Monsieur Masterman's remedy. But there's six of them there. There's only five bottles. Here, bud. Here is your remedy. I hope it will help. Thank you very much, sir. No problem, dude. Huh, Super well, sweet. I can finally speak without too much pain. I'm ready to answer your questions. You better you be. You are Monsieur Ratchet's valet? Yes, sir. That is correct. Were you told that your employer was murdered? Yes, sir. A very shocking occurrence. Hmm. How shocking. 39. He is a secretary. I must admit I'm not right this time. There we go. Valet. My bad. That was easy. Was it? At what hour did you last see, Monsieur Hatchet? It must have been around 9 p.m., sir. That or a little after. I went to bed around 10.30 p.m., same as the person who shares my room, Mr. Foscarelli. Foscarelli. He almost immediately began snoring. What did you do then? I read, sir. And I spent a while soothing my toothache with clove oil and listening to the snoring. Did you hear anything during the night? Yes. My roommate's snoring. I get it. He snores. Are you a smoker, Are sir? Are you a smoker? Yes, sir. I have a cigarette now and then to relax. Tell me about your employer, Monsieur Ratchet. I've been working for him He's for ratchet. nine months. I should not wish to speak ill of the dead, but he was... Uh, not a gentleman, sir. Did you know that he had enemies? Yes, sir. I heard him discussing some threatening letters, sir, with Mr. McQueen. Did he mention Mr. these McQueen. letters to you? He had been reading a letter when I came in. He asked me if I was the one who put it in his compartment. I told him that I had done no such thing, and he should report it to the police at the next station. How did he respond? He laughed, sir. <laughs> You're joking. I do not joke, sir. Oh. Uh, forgive me. I can see you do not. Was he taking sleeping pills? Always when traveling by train, sir. He said he couldn't sleep otherwise. Last night he asked me to give him two. I did so along with a glass of water. He dissolved them in the water. Did you see him drink the water? No, sir. 
I left right after I gave him the pills. Hmm. Was Monsieur Ratchet a smoker? No. He finds smokers disgusting. Can you so we gotta find again, the person who loves vape. Gave sleeping pills vape to Monsieur Ratchet. Yes, I gave him the pills because when he takes the train, he has trouble sleeping. The letter must have worried him. He specifically asked me to prepare the sleeping pills. I didn't see him drink the water with the pills in it. Okay. What's he saying? Contain a lot. When he takes the train, he has trouble sleeping. The letter must have worried him. He specifically asked me to prepare the sleeping pills. Didn't see him drink the water with the pills in it. He said he prepared it for him, though. I have no way to prove he's lying. Monsieur, I believe you are not telling me the truth. What? How can you say that? The gun. He received threatening letters. One, it seems, last night. Did you know he had a gun under his pillow? And even Freaking asked out, man. for my help to watch over him. I find it strange that he asked you for sleeping pills when he was afraid for his life and prepared to defend himself. I'm sure I don't know. Maybe to calm his nerves. Maybe out of habit. You're just it trying to find sense. excuses, sir. Wait, please. Isn't it possible that Mr. Ratchet asked me to prepare the pills but didn't plan to drink them for some reason? It is possible. But I am a student of character, monsieur. And mm -hmm. the monsieur Ratchet you describe is not the man I met. How do you know? If you'll excuse me, my toothache is getting worse Oh, it's again. weird, it's I'm weird. I'm this time you must prepare your own clove oil. Yeah, bish. Freaking bish, I'm gonna open up your... I'm gonna leave your door open. Look at this clown. I believe I am addressing Monsieur Hector McQueen. Hector McQueen? Yeah, you are. Oh, uh, you sorry. Are. Yeah, Just you're guilty. Uh, my father used to say it. You must have had an interesting childhood. I am Hercule Poirot. No need to be modest. You're a detective. You are Monsieur Ratchet's secretary. I am Mr. Ratchet's secretary. Just over a year. I mainly take care of translating certain texts for him. Mr. Ratchet only speaks English. Prepare yourself. For a shock. Your employer, Monsieur Ratchet, is dead. So they got him after all. What do you They? Mean? Who's they? You are assuming he was murdered? I know he had enemies. Okay. What can do you tell. tell me about Monsieur Ratchet? He was American. He was an antiques dealer. I don't know much more. Mr. Ratchet never talked about himself or his life, but I think oh, that mouth Ratchet movement. wasn't his real name. And he left the United States to run away from something or someone. Yes. Taxes. Started getting by taxes. Threatening letters. Do from the IRS. It's all taxes. Did you know that Monsieur Ratchet had asked for my help? Asked you? No, I didn't know. He knew he was in danger. When did you last see him? Last night around 10 o'clock, I should say. Did you like your employer, Monsieur McQueen? No, I did not. He was... I'm sure a, a cruel and dangerous man. Dangerous man, huh? The night of the Can crime, you what were you doing? Your movements last night? I went back to my compartment. I read a little. In Belgrade, I went out onto the platform to smoke, but it was cold. I quickly went back in. I then went to Mr. Ratchet's compartment to take some dictation for him. I left around 10 o'clock. I saw Captain Arbuthnot. We ended up chatting in my compartment. Then we went out on the platform to quickly stretch our legs at... Nikovsky. He left around two o'clock. Thank you. I will need to check Monsieur McQueen's story with Captain Arbuthnot. Arbuthnot, ha ha ha. I found a diary in Monsieur Ratchet's safe. Did you know about it? I kept a business appointment book, but I know he had a personal diary as well. That looks like it. Of course it does. What's the bunny rabbit doing in there? Huh? Huh? Is he a furry? Huh? Are you a smoker? Yes, I smoke cigarettes. I've tried to quit, but no luck. Can you give me this letter, please? Of course. Here it is. Time to die, mother effer. Sir? Was Monsieur Ratchet a smoker? No. No, he hated the smell of smoke. But what about banana vape, yo? What about banana vape, yo? 
Okay. Ratchet talks to Mr. Michel. Okay. Two elements of interest from the encounter. Mr. Michel on the evening of the murder. Okay. Ratchet apparently sm uh, spoke in French during the night of the murder. Ratchet only speaks English. Mr. McQueen and saw Ratchet the last time. Ten okay. Yep. The two languages. Combine them. Does not speak French. Ah. Okay. So this. When we're calling out. He said something to, uh, in French to him. The murderer he may was impersonated Ratchet impersonator. by Michel to make it seem that Ratchet was still alive at 12.37 a.m. Yes. Et voila. Voila. Noise. Ratchet 12.37, the hypothesis of the night of the crime. We're so smart. Ratchet takes sleeping pills. The murderer enters Ratchet's room, kills him with a gun, and hides it under his pillow. What? He disguises the crime as a crime of passion with a knife. Waits for Mr. Michel to take a break and leave the room. Ratchet takes sleeping pills. The murderer enters uh, Ratchet's room. He stabs him with a knife. Calls Mr. Michel to make him believe that Ratchet is alive. He opens the window to escape, but the train is stuck in the snow. He waits for Mr. Michel to take a break and leave the room. Ratchet takes sleeping pills. The murderer enters Ratchet's room. He stabs him with a knife. He calls Mr. Michel to pretend that Ratchet is alive. He opens the window and flees. Nope. I'm yes. Right that yes, I am me. right. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Is Masterman a suspect? I'm gonna say no. This is the most likely answer. But this clown, Mr. Masterman, the Baldy, hmm, he's definitely hiding something. Looks promising. He's got himself a little, little, little thing going on here. Got himself a little, little jaunt going on in there. Okay. All right. Let's go talk to Book. So, my friend, have you found our killer? Not yet, but I will tell you what I have learned. Please. Yes. Our Give the whole investigation. Could have gotten on the train at Vinkovsky disguised as a conductor, entered Ratchet's room, and killed him. Then he walked out through Madame Hubbard's connecting door, where he lost a button from his jacket. He had to wait for Monsieur Michel to be absent. He waited too long. The train had left the station. He was trapped aboard. Indeed. He had opened the window to make it look that he'd escaped that way. However, if he waited until the train stopped again due to snow, his footprints would have been found. Boom. The murderer is still among us. On the train. That's right. There's a problem with the second class toilets. What now? All morning passengers have been complaining that the door is locked. So I went to check. I knocked, but no one answered. I didn't think I should open it without speaking to you first. Busted open. You did well, Monsieur Michel. Lead the way. Break it down. I use my master key. Yeah, 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 yeah. But who is she? Is she alive? She is breathing. Then if she isn't dead, isn't she our murderer? That, my friend, is what we must find out. Well now. Excuse me, miss. 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 Can you hear me? Hmm? Hello? Hola? Como mm. esta? She is Bonjour. breathing. Her pulse is strong. There is no sign of physical violence. This woman is sleeping very soundly. Just passed out? Second class, number 105, Istanbul. 
ticket reads Joanna Locke, traveling in compartment 105. Classy ass ticket, I'll tell you that much. This woman is sound asleep. Given her location, I would say she has been drugged and deposited here. Well, Sleeping pills. at least it's not another murder on my train. The train is, of course, full. Monsieur, the list I gave you indicates that Hildegard Schmidt shares her compartment. Oh, I will want to talk Hildegard to her H. For now, we will concentrate on this mysterious young lady. Let's return her to her more comfortable bed. Good idea. Pierre, locate this woman's room and fetch the doctor. Yes, sir. This is a fairly I lengthy will demo. Her when she wakes up. Please, let me know what you learn. Mademoiselle Locke's compartment is 105. I suggest we return her to her more comfortable bed. Yes, hopefully she will awaken soon. Oh, 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 oh. I like to watch you sleep. Just gonna stare at you. Oh. A cup of tea with white residue at the bottom. She was drugged. Oh, suitcase. Don't worry about a warrant or anything like that. Oh, uh, Sam Samsonite. One, two, three, four, five. I got to try it. Look at you. A briefcase and a wagon Lee conductor's jacket. And the button is missing. Mmm. Suspicioso. Oh, I'm disappointed in you. Stop I'm talking. You would have it by now. Poirot, what if the briefcase is booby trapped? But of course you know what you're doing. It is booby trapped, is it? If you need a break, I can ask Jean to make you some coffee. Shut up. Have you tried zero, 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 zero? I can ask Jean to make you some coffee. Yeah, why don't you do that? Ask for silence. Silent like a mouse, please. I'm sorry. You're right. I'll be quiet now. You need to concentrate. Jesus. Do not utter another word. Not one. Book, there will be another murder on the Orient Express in a moment. They had. Aha. Uh -huh. It makes a little little soundy sound. There we are. Mm-hmm. Boom. Boy hello. It's a cop. This badge says that Joanna Locke is an American detective with the Berkshire Police Department in Massachusetts. Oh, she's American a mass hole. Police officer? Oh. Oh, ratchet. I don't know, something's and very suspicious about this. She's very interested in our victim. Of course. She has studied her target. Possibly. Very suspicious. Oh, kitty cat. The stuffed animal is the same as in the photo found at the crime scene. What a coincidence. Mademoiselle Locke appears to have been investigating Monsieur Hatchet. Yes, it does seem that way. ID. Very good. Issued 2020. Okay, expires. Oh, 10 years, huh? Really? 1991. Millennial. 5-4.
Her driver's license confirms her identity. She is American. These are fake IDs. It's certain. We got this gat. She's strapped. She has a gun. Come, come, Poirot. Criminals are often known to carry one. Ratchet was stabbed, not shot. But then why take it on the train? Just in case she needs to pop a cap. Look, That's why. Up. Thanks to you, I would not be surprised if our murder victim were also waking up. I... What? Yeah, exactly. How do you do, ma'am? Listen, um... Oh, my head. Why'd you kill him? What's all the yelling about? Who are you? Give me a good reason why you should not be in handcuffs. I can give you a reason, Book. Whose handcuffs will we use? I have none. Do you? Well, I... You are Joanna Locke, mademoiselle? Yeah, yes, um... Joanna Locke. I'm, um... I'm a detective. Berkshire, Massachusetts Police. I have found. She's talking like an Eastern European trying to speak and I American. Know who you are, uh, hi, Mr. I Poirot. am a if detective. The introductions are complete. Perhaps the explanations may begin. I, I I'll try. Yeah, yeah, you should try it's real hard. It's simple, really. I, I'm on the trail of a murderer. Oh. On October 4th, 1883, a crowd of journalists. I had just oh. been promoted to detective after five years on patrol. It was my first time on a major case. It had been a month since Daisy Armstrong was kidnapped. The Armstrongs were desperate for some sign of hope. I was there only for paperwork to fill in some blanks. What? Okay, so now we're... Now we're... Oh, this is a, a very lengthy demo. Three year old daughter, okay, John Sonia Armstrong, victim was taken sometime in the evening of February 21st. Okay. Ladder was found outside the child's bedroom, uh, like the Lindbergh baby. Uh, it was to remove Daisy from the house. The window usually locked uh, from the inside, we found open. Four wheel drive tracks were found, four by four. I have one million ready in two, three day. We will come inform you we're to deliver the money. Camp, which to go. Billion dollars. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. British guy, a Brit. Then we heard Suzanne Daisy's nanny screaming at around 10.45 to 10.50. After I went upstairs to Daisy's room, Suzanne was crying. Statement last time I saw Daisy was 10.30. I put her in the check room. Okay. Computer input error deposition to be retaken. Call logs. The phone record of the night of the kidnapping. The last call was for 911. That's why I'm here. A damn computer glitch. Or somebody pushed delete instead of save. Whatever uh, happened, we lost the nanny's deposition. So my entire contribution to the investigation is to take it again. I can't imagine the pain her parents felt when they realized how could the child be taken with so many people? The misspellings are clearly on purpose. And they didn't return the child when the ransom was paid. The sons of bitches. The crime was audacious. How could the kidnapper know which was the window of Daisy's room? Oh, they knew. No, they could. The investigation is now part of a pile of investigations. And my captain sent me here just to dot some I's and cross some T's. Yes, they did. That's what they're supposed to do. A topographical map. Often more important than a road map in these mountains. Good evening, Colonel Armstrong? Yes. You're the detective they phoned about. Joanna Locke. I don't remember you. I'm newly assigned to the case. It's about time more detectives were involved. About time. Sonia, she... she hasn't been herself. Every day is a waking nightmare for us. Tell me you've uncovered something new. I'm here to speak to your daughter's nanny. There was a computer problem. Her earlier statement has been lost. Oh. I see. We had hoped... Well, do as you wish. I won't be far if you need me. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. And that's it. 
Wow. Full game will include a faithful yet original adventure set in 2023. Investigate the kidnapping of Little Daisy in Massachusetts with the new playable character, Joanna Locke. More than three hours of gameplay after the famous ending of the book, an all-new investigation that takes you to Venice and Geneva, among other places. Very, very cool. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you like adventures, if you like sleuthing, murder mysteries, especially such a famous story from Agatha Christie, I have a feeling you're going to dig it. It is. A, it can be a little cheesy, but you know what? I'm here for the cheese. But folks, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and that will be our video for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit the like button, have some channel ever so much more you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, live streams every week. Make sure you hit the bell notification, be aware of all the new content. Everyone, peace out, like, shout y'all, and I'll check you out right here again on the channel. Maybe back on the Orient Express next time. <laughs>